What's up, Count Gizzler? Still, rubbing your diaper dick on your pillow at night to fall asleep? What? Shut up. Stop poking fun at me, because I'm an average small dick having half-breed, who works 40 hours a week, and pays a mortgage, that I can't afford, and consider my house, my sole investment in life. You do know, that one day I can refinance my loan, and get a shit ton of money. Wow, that sounds ultra stupid, and like a big waste of faggot ass misguided time. You do know, that you're a slave to the corporate giant, called America's unlubed dick, right? Anyways chilled cock, I don't think of faggy shit like that, because I'm still young, work relaxed hours, and my dick still functions like a corked bat, behind the hands of a juiced up major league baseball player. Furthermore, I enjoy not paying taxes, and fucking the men over every chance I get. You sound crazy stackhouse, I bet you're so unhappy. Look at me, I have a wife and kids, and you have nothing to go home to in your life to make you smile. That's true I forgot about that, seems like all this young renewable pussy, that is like a human producing, revolving door, is not all it is cracked up, to be. I mean look at your wife, you guys have been together forever, and you look so happy, however, I have known the two of you for years now, and from what I can see, is that your wife has developed a blubber cunt, and she gives you a surf you to comply by. Not to mention she gets free rent, and you need to fantasize about bitches online getting fisted just to bust a nut, in her soon to be menopause twat. You're right, I really wish we could swap roles, you would take all the young, dirty, smoking hot dime pieces, crush their pussies, and gleefully smile at you by the morning after pill, to go with their coffee. And get this, I can be you, and go home, pray to God, that I died in my sleep, and if I didn't, I would just roll over, grab some punch, and pretend I was fucking one of the fat bitches that works at Burger King. Damn you got it good. Hey hey now, I resent that, just because my wife has put on some pounds doesn't mean anything. Are you fucking serious? You're 27 years old. Did you make a deal with your cock when you were younger that stated that after college you would throw in the towel and only smash mediocre vagina till the end of time? I guess you are right. I wish you all the best with your legally handcuffed other half. Coward cock in the meantime, I'm gonna get me a black the fuck out drunk all weekend and cream pie bitches that your buddies. From work, no on a first name basis, because their daughters go to school with them, what a fucking noob move you pulled getting married, I swear it's like fucking amateur hour every time I see you, or even envision you in my mind, I can't even take a piss without getting it on the seat, if a thought of you pops into my mind, it's literally that bad, your sand filled vagina, of a life can make me fuck something as easy as pissing into a giant circular. Hold up at least you will have someone to flip the tab on your funeral expenses and credit card bills later in life. You know what, Stack, if I was not 150 pounds and a poor excuse for a teenage boy, I would have my way with you. Not everyone gets to go to the gym and care about their appearance all day. That's true, people like that, which I am, are people that care about themselves and still cherish the old custom of self-worth either way, I'm out child cock, I got pussy to smash, and ultras to crush, you can tell me more about your depressing life another time. Get some, you just wait a gosh darn second, I always get some, by the way, what the fuck, I don't know what that means and you always say it. That's because you're a washed up old man living in a young man's body, you're like the fucking two o'clock soaps that come on during the weekdays before the Oprah show, and in fucking prime time, on a Saturday evening. Fuck me. Just do me a favor long dicking phantom, get some dirty puss for me this weekend. Will do, and don't worry, with our powers combined it I'm sure we can get rid of that bitch you call a wife sometime soon. Holla at your boy.